Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure review. And today, we are jumping into the time machine as we travel back a couple of years and take a look at this. Arkham City Harley Quinn, and this is actually produced by NECA. Okay, so this action figure came out, I want to say way back in either 2014 or 2015. Um, the whole line of NECA DC related action figures kind of escapes me because I think around that time period, I wasn't really focused on DC uh, collectibles all that much. I want to say in 2015, I might have been more focused on, I think, Marvel action figures at the time. So the reason why we're looking at this today is because I think like a few weeks ago, McFarlane um, revealed photos for the upcoming uh, DC Multiverse Arkham City line of action figures. Uh, those are coming out in early October, and I think there's an, a re-release of Arkham Batman, uh, there's Ra's al Ghul, uh, there's a Catwoman, and then there's a Penguin. And then I think the Build-A-Figure might be Solomon Grundy, I think. Uh, one figure I was kind of hoping that they would give us uh, is, you know, either, um, I think, Harley Quinn in whatever form, you know, she was, she appeared in Arkham City, which I think is this one. It's been years, because I, I always get all of her costumes mixed up. Like, I think she was wearing the nurse costume in the first game. Um, in the second game, I think this is what she was wearing. So that's why we're looking at this figure. You know, I kind of hunted this one down online, because I had, I, ha I had hopes that maybe this would scale in well with the McFarlane stuff. Uh, because when I saw the eBay listing, I think it listed this as a 7-inch action figure. So yeah, this is why we're checking this figure out. Um, the box art is awesome. You know, it looks cool. You have the Arkham City version of Harley Quinn. It's a lot, she's a lot darker, a lot grittier uh, than, you know, what you're used to or maybe not. Um, I kind of uh, feel like, you know, modern Harley Quinn was really defined visually by those Arkham video games. You know, if you're like a longtime Batman fan, you'll remember the art that Harley Quinn was first introduced in Batman the Animated Series. Uh, and then she was introduced in the comic books in the one-shot Mad Love. And her early appearances, she kind of wore that Jester costume. And it wasn't until much, much later when she appeared in the Arkham games that they really kind of like, I guess, sexualized her look. And this made her appear a lot darker, a lot more grittier. Um, I kind of opposed the look at first because I thought it was kind of gratuitous. But over time, I guess I've kind of warmed up to it. Um, and, you know, this is a really cool looking figure. As you can see here, she has the pigtails. She has a very solemn expression, which I think is kind of indicative of the video game. Because she's a little bit darker in the game as opposed to, like, you know, her in the cartoon. Uh, she has her tight corset. She maintains that color scheme of the red and black. Uh, she has the, the diamonds on her legs. A studded bracelet fingerless gloves uh, she comes with you know her bat it's like candy striped uh, comes with an Uzi and uh, additional hands as well again beautiful illustration you have the playful logo on front but then underneath you have the graffiti logo uh, here is the action figure unboxed on the side so this is what you're getting she looks cool, but but like I said, this is a much darker version of Harley Quinn. And I was really hoping McFarlane would give us this. You know, if I'm a betting man, I'm sure she's in development and they'll probably give us her, you know, sometime next year. You know, Harley Quinn's like, a, you know, an easy cash grab. People love Harley Quinn. And this is Arkham City. You know, if, if you've never played the game, check those games out. Uh, there was Arkham Asylum, which was the first one. Then there was Arkham City. And then there was the middle game, Arkham Origins. And then there was Arkham Knight. And I think there were a couple of um, mobile games as well. Uh, here's a nice bio on Harley Quinn as she pertains to the video game, Arkham City. And then this figure includes four interchangeable hands, two machine guns, and a baseball bat. Alright, so I'm not going to open this figure <laughs> just because I paid an arm and a leg for it. It was expensive. Um, 
Initially, I was going to open it until I kept on hunting around eBay, and I did find one loose. So we're going to take a look at the loose figure. So here's the boxed figure, and here is the loose one. As you can see, she looks great. Um, I also got some of the accessories, but it looks like the gun they gave me is a different gun. And I think <laughs> I think they ripped me off. I like the gun here is clearly an Uzi. And then they gave me like a, a looks like a broken assault rifle. Um, you know, the back of the rifle is broken off. The front the front barrel is is broken off also, and there's a little piece floating around in there. But they did include the extra hands and then the baseball bat. Uh, we'll take a look at this in a second. Let's look at the figure first. So as you can see, here's the figure. Um, loose and then here's the figure in the in the box one reason why i didn't take this out also is because if you notice one of her pigtails is kind of bent out of place and when i got this figure i noticed that these pigtails are actually glued on they're not they don't rotate so this might be a defect her pigtail might have been attached you know wrong wrongly in the factory so that kind of bothers me a little but this is like the only you know, mint in box figure I found online. And the box art's really cool. I, I, I really do want to keep this in the package. It looks awesome. Um, if you're curious about the size of this figure, um, I think she comes in at about... Yeah, it's a short figure. So, I don't know. I, th I think I was kind of misled. You know, the eBay, listed, the eBay listing had her listed at 7 inches. She clearly comes in at 6 and a quarter. So, she's... I think she's well out of scale for the McFarlane figures. Uh, for example, here's a McFarlane uh, Batman figure. And if you look, yeah, the size, she's not going to match up. Not only that, but I think this figure is, is even uh, slightly larger than like a, a SH Figure Arts figure. So I don't think she'd fit in that line as well. Uh, I should have grabbed some of my other figures because I think she might fall in line with the Mattel figures from the DC um classics line and dc universe line but I th she feels a little bit smaller i think it might just be her proportions so if you had high hopes of blending her in with the mcfarland stuff it's a no-go you know she's a much smaller figure um uh, let's take a look at her uh, so she has it's it doesn't come off on camera as well but she does have the pale white face and the rest of her body is like a flesh tone color. You can see on her arms and on her chest. Uh, she has tattoos. Um, and they're like they're like decals. And when I say decals, they're kind of like water slide decals. Like if you ever built a model kit, they're like that. But for whatever reason, I think they didn't age very well because they're actually tacky now. They're becoming very sticky. So I'm guessing these uh, decals are kind of like um, deteriorating. And they're kind of peeling off a little also. So on, on at least on this uh, loose figure, I might just, you know, scrub these off. Because it's kind of tacky to the touch. And they don't look as clean as they did, you know, like brand new. So yeah, she has a tattoo um, wrapped on her bicep right there. And then she has another tattoo above her hip right here. Uh, the face, like I pointed out, very somber, serious expression. You know, there's nothing playful about this Harley Quinn. She seems very, like, uh, she seems very goth-inspired, you know, in her outfit and in her look. You know, she looks like she just came back from, like, a birthday massacre concert, and she's been hanging out, like, at the Hot Topic. And, you know, like I said, this is a very sexualized version of the character, you know, for me, I grew up on the OG version of Harley Quinn in the in the Jester outfit. So when they first introduced this character, I did think she looked cool, but I kind of felt like they were just really pushing it, you know, really kind of like pandering to like fanboys and stuff. But this is kind of like the look I think a lot of people have grown accustomed to. You know, she even wears a costume very similar to this in the new Suicide Squad movie. I think the only thing difference is that she's wearing like a short coat over her um, over her body. But I do like the corset look. It's kind of grown on me. 
Uh, the sculpting's decent. You know, this figure came out back in um, either 2014 or 2015. And the paint application looks kind of sloppy. It, but, you know, this is kind of like the style of painting that was done, um, you know, to, in the early 2000s to the mid-2000s. You know, they always applied a heavy wash to make everything look worn and dirty and gritty, which is appropriate for this character, especially for her being from the Arkham uh, City video game. So let's take a look at her up close. Uh, very simple head sculpt. You know, the expression isn't the greatest. Uh, the hair sculpting is all right. You know, it's it's finely detailed, but I don't know. It just seems kind of off to me. Uh, the detail on her corset and chest are well done. You know, you have buttons, nice subtle folds. Uh, the, the tattoo is a nice touch, but like I said, mine's kind of deteriorating and it's getting all weird and sticky and tacky. It's almost like melting. On the back, she has some straps and harnesses. Uh, there's her belt. I dig this a lot too. This is something I've kind of incorporated in some of my customs, actually having a, a real chain wallet. So it's cool that there's a real chain right there. She has a nice giant belt buckle, uh, the low-waisted pants. Uh, you can kind of see her, her thong <laughs> or her panties. Um, studded bracelet, fingerless gloves, and the gloves have the diamond logo on both hands. And they do the alternate color swap, you know, with the black against the red. Uh, Thigh-high boots. Very waifish figure. You know, with the exception of her chest, this is a very thin, uh, thin character model. In terms of her articulation, uh, Harley's head rotates. Does she look down? Just like that. Looks up about there. And then, nah, she really doesn't. This looks forward. Arms rotate, they go out, they bend at the elbow, and they swivel at the elbow also. Uh, she has wrist articulation. And on a side note, I have a, I have a bandage here because <laughs> I accidentally hurt my finger on uh, reviewing a Batman figure. So there's a video, if I didn't post it yet, it's the McFarland Endless Winter Batman. And then the knee joint is super tight, and when I closed the leg, it, my thumb got pinched, and I got this horrible, horrible, like, blood blister. It was disgusting. Uh, Alright, back to this. Um, nice movement for the torso. She kind of rocks around so she could crunch forward a little bit, arch back, and also swivel. I like it because they hide the joint underneath the corset here. You know, it's not at the waist. So it's a much cleaner look. I dig that a lot. Um, her legs... They're not articulated well. You know, they don't want to kick up. The articulation is there, but the way it's designed does not kick up. Kicks out to the side. Uh, single jointed knee. So it's your knees, uh, and then it knees swivel. There's no thigh cut. Articulated ankles. And my ankles are kind of loose, but this is a used figure, so... And she has thick soles for her boots. And then there's even pegs underneath. Uh, she came, like I said, the gun this one came with is not the gun that's supposed to come with a toy. And then the bat here. Mine doesn't look as clean as the one in the box. The one in the box here looks awesome. It's nice and clean. Mine's like a friggin' mess. You know, look at the paint job on this. It looks horrible. I'm almost... Oh God, there's a part of me wondering if this figure is a knockoff. There's a chance this figure might be a knockoff. This might not be the real deal. Oh, it's possible. Yeah, this figure might be a knockoff. It looks a sh it looks like a shade... Yeah, the colors are different on this. The plastic quality looks a lot different also. Yeah, this figure I'm handling right here, this might be a knockoff. This might be a bootleg. The plastic quality looks completely different. And the figure looks like it's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit smaller than this one. So if this is a knockoff, that, that might be the case. Because if they're making a mold using the original figure, 
uh, the knockoff's going to be slightly smaller, which is the case here. Yeah, the quality of the paint doesn't look as clean as this one, nor the sculpting. Yeah, so I think I, I think I got, <laughs> I think I got, I think I, man, I think I got ripped off. This is a bootleg figure. All right, so that made my morning. <laughs> All right, so, but I didn't pay a lot for this, so I'm cool with that. I did pay a lot for this, which sucks, so. Um, but yeah, this is my bootleg Harley Quinn, I guess. Uh, I like this design a lot. You know, I'm I'm hoping McFarlane will give us this figure. You know, that's kind of like my hopes. Because they did give us an Arkham uh, Joker, which is actually one of my favorite Jokers from the McFarlane line. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of Harley. It took me a long time to warm up to this look. But, you know, seeing as how she kind of dropped the Jester look a long, long time ago, I've kind of just learned to accept the fact that, you know, she's, gonna, she's just going to wear different costumes, you know. But she looks awesome. Great looking figure overall. I dig this one a lot. All right, so if I had to rate this on a scale of one to one to ten, I can't really do that fairly because I think this is a knockoff. Uh, if this is a higher quality, I think, especially at the time, I think I'd give this, you know, at least an eight. You know, visually, I think the articulation is a little bit archaic, but the presentation's good. Uh, it's well detailed and it's. This is awesome. You know, Ar uh, Rocksteady Studios, who did the Arkham games, you know, their character designs are very cool. You know, they've really grown on me. And I'm glad that McFarlane's tapping into that, you know, that universe for action figures. All right, so with that being said, let's wrap this video up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So, until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. Alright, later.